Dominican spaghetti with salami. Oh, let's get this started. Of course, I am using Dominican salami, campesino, it's cooked salami, and I love it. Now we're gonna start making the pasta. We're gonna just go ahead, cook it as instructed in our package, which is spaghetti. These are the rest of the ingredients, and I forgot to put the adobo out, but anyway, <laughs> I'll put it in later. We're gonna start with a wok with oil. You can use a deep pan or deep skillet, um, and I'm adding the salami, salchichon, to it and I'm just gonna give it some color and I'm gonna go ahead and keep going with it. I do like to cover it because it splatters like crazy sometimes because I am cooking it on medium high because it's already cooked, right? It just needs some nice golden color and then I will continue to move it around every once in a while to make sure that all sides get that golden color and you can see to the right, I'm protecting myself because I wanna make sure that I don't get burned. Oh, I love salami though. I, I will get burned for it any day. Now I'm gonna cover it, get the rest of my ingredients. I'm going to add some onions and some peppers, whatever colors that you like are fine. I just sliced them and I'm gonna make sure that I cook them down as much as I can. And I didn't put as many onions as I would like because my nieces and my older son are the ones eating it and they're very picky and they'll pick them out so I figured don't put a ton of it but the recipe will have the actual amount here you can see that they're caramelized more and I'm gonna add some minced garlic it's pre minced I don't have to worry about it too much and I'm gonna cook it for about one minute because it burns it cook it so much longer in high heat now I'm adding some chopped cilantro and I'm not putting a ton of it again because the kids will pick at whatever green stuff they see on it. You know I don't like to waste food. <laughs> and now I am going to add ragu, traditional tomato sauce. That's what my mom says I must add and that's what I'm gonna use. And then this is one eight ounce can of tomato sauce, just regular tomato sauce. And I'm gonna mix it really, really well until I feel like it's done. And then I'm gonna add some milk Again, I'm gonna mix it very, very well, make sure everything is melded together. And then right after that, I'm going to add some butter and some bouillon, chicken bouillon in a packet, the whole packet, and then you're gonna mix it really well. Next up is going to be the olives. Again, I didn't do a ton of olives, I chopped them up. There's the adobo and I'm gonna mix it really well. And I didn't put a lot of olives because the kids are gonna pick at them. And again, I don't wanna go crazy with the kids picking at them. And here we go, it's pretty much ready. And now after this, I'm going to cover it up and let it sit for about, I don't know, five minutes or so, just to let the flavors meld together as best as possible. And now that the five minutes are up, that's it. We're just going to add the spaghetti that we cooked earlier and that sat on the side waiting for us. And we're going to go ahead and make sure that we're stirring everything in, that every single spaghetti has the sauce all over it. Oh my God, it looks so good while I'm editing this. I just wanna eat it right now and I have none left. <laughs> that kind of sucks. But that's it, look at this beautiful spaghetti con salami. It's just amazing. And I love it. Oh my God, you have to make this, seriously. This is what happens after. It's hard being a hand model. My 13 year old, yeah. my hand model. Yeah. yeah. <laughs>